Chapter 3 I felt my heart skip a beat. Kyle, what? I cried. What's wrong? A smile slowly spread across his beefy face. His brown eyes flashed merrily. Gotcha, he whispered. Emily tossed back her head and laughed again. Why does she think Kyle is such a riot? Kyle crossed the room to the refrigerator. He opened the door, searched the shelves, and pulled out a can of Coke. Help yourself, I muttered. He had already opened the top and tilted the can over his open mouth. He let the soda pour down his throat, gulping noisily, until he'd emptied the can. Then he burped long and loud and tossed the can on the counter. Let's try the game, he suggested. He dropped into a chair at the kitchen table and began shuffling through the BFA cards. Emily sat down across from him with her back to the kitchen window. Late afternoon sunlight poured through the window, making both of them glow. Connor, go get some dice, Kyle ordered. We need at least four. Have you got them? I think so, I replied. I'll go see. I ran to the den, where we keep all the board games. I tore open the boxes and searched until I found four dice. When I returned to the kitchen, Kyle had divided the deck into four neat stacks. The cards were all face down. I dropped the dice onto the table and took a seat. How do we play? I asked Kyle. I divide the deck into four piles, he explained, tapping each stack with his finger. Character cards, power cards, action cards, and fake cards. First you have to choose the character you're going to play. He shoved one of the piles of cards across the table to me. Pick a character out, pick a character card, from anywhere in the deck. I picked up the cards and pulled one from the middle. I turned it over and studied it. King, I declared. Hey, that's cool. I'm a king. That's not fair, Emily protested. Why did Connor go first? We should roll the dice for it or something. Why should he be king? Since I played before, I'll make the rules, Kyle told Emily, shoving the second cards toward her. It's a very complicated game. It takes months to learn. But if Connor is king, Emily started. Being king is no big deal, Kyle interrupted. He might be a really weak king. He might be a total loser. We haven't drawn our power cards yet. Kyle grinned. Connor might be a powerless king, maybe even a helpless slave to one of us. Yeah, that's what I want to be, Emily said. Someone more powerful than the king. In your dreams, I muttered. As soon as we start, I'm going to have both of your heads cut off. Emily frowned across the table at me. That's mean, Connor, she said softly. Just pick a character, Kyle sighed. Any time this year... Emily shut her eyes and picked the character card. She studied it. A goth? Yuck! What's a goth? She cried, unable to hide disappointment. Kyle took the card from her. A goth is a mutant sorcerer, he told her. Emily brightened a little. Or sorcerer? You mean I have magical powers? Maybe, Kyle replied. Emily turned to me. Maybe I'll turn the king into a frog. She threatened. I replied with some croaking sounds. I do a very, I do a really good frog imitation, very loud and very realistic. Ask anyone. Kyle slammed the table with his fists. All the cards bounced. Come on, guys! He pleaded. Let's take the game seriously. I stopped my frog sounds. When Kyle wants people to be serious, they'd better get serious. Kyle shuffled the character cards. Then he picked one. I'm a crow he announced. He showed us a card. It had a painting of an ugly dwarf creature with pink pointed ears and an animal snout. The crow wore a furry red hat and carried a carved dagger. What exactly is a crow? I asked. Is it good or bad? Depends, Kyle answered. Is a golf more powerful than a crow? Emily asked. Depends, Kyle replied again. He shoved the dice towards me. Now we're going to roll for power points. Go ahead. Roll all four dice. Now we'll see what's what. You get a hundred power points for every point on the dice. We took turns rolling the dice. I rolled all fives and sixes. Yay! I cried. Power! I've got the power! Emily and Kyle both rolled twos and threes. The king is very powerful, Kyle announced solemnly. He turned to Emily. You and I will have to work together, or we don't stand a chance. 
I jumped up and put my fist above my head and let out a cheer. The king rules! I cried. We'll see about that, Kyle growled. Sit down, Connor, Emily ordered. It's King Connor, I corrected her, but I dropped back to my chair. Let's get started, Kyle said. The game is like an ancient story. Shut your eyes. Pretend we're in ancient times. We live in a forest. At the edge of the forest has a tall castle. My castle, I interrupted. Kyle ignored me. He lowered his voice to a deep whisper. The forest is filled with all kinds of danger. Strange creatures, masked knights, mutant invaders, crows and goths and moors and jekylls, strange animals, poisonous plants, evil enemies lurking everywhere. He slid a sack of cards in front of me. Start the action, king. Pick the top card and turn it over. Then prepare yourself for whatever comes. Whatever comes? Something about Kyle's solemn expression, his deep voice, his serious dark eyes, sent a chill down my back. I pulled the top card off the deck and turned it over. It showed a fat, yellow lightning bolt. I set the card on the table, and as I did, I heard a loud crackle and saw a bright yellow bolt of lightning out the kitchen window. Whoa! I cried out. It was bright sunshine out there. Where did the lightning come from? I grabbed the card. Another crackling sound. Another flash of lightning. And in the jagged bolt of light, I saw a face. An ugly, evil, twisted face, green in the eerie glow, pressing against the window, glaring in at us.